many of the people will think that potential difference or voltage and electromotive force or emf are one and the same but it is true that there is a difference between voltage and emf in this video we are going to learn about what is the difference between potential difference and electromotive force so to know the details and the difference between these two you need to watch the video to understand the difference between potential difference or voltage and emf let's do an experiment here i have two bottles filled with water as you can see bottle a is filled with water above center line of the bottle and in bottle b water is filled below center line in technical language i would say bottle a is having electric potential of 10 volt and bottle b is having electric potential of 4 volts now if i connect a small pipe between these two bottles then what will happen let's check that out so as you can see after connecting a pipe between these two bottles water has started flowing from bottle a to bottle b that is from higher potential to lower potential water is flowing because there is a difference in water level of both the bottles water will now continue to flow until water level of both the bottles becomes same here you can see water is not flowing as the level of both the bottles are now equal so what we understood difference in water level needed to make water to flow from one bottle to another in technical language i would call this difference in water level as potential difference or voltage so now i can modify my sentence as potential difference is needed to make electrons flow from one position to another so we are now clear about the potential difference or voltage potential difference or voltage is required to make electrons flow from one position to another now let's get back to our experiment as you can see water level of both the bottles are equal and hence no water is flowing but what if we need continuous flow of water to do that let's say i connected a device which will again create the difference in water level of both the bottles i cannot show you that here so let's watch it graphically here i have connected a device which will create difference in water level of both the bottles again and now water will again start flowing again water level of both the bottles will become equal so our device will again create the difference in water level and water will flow again now this process will keep on repeating and we will get continuous flow of water in technical language i would say our device is maintaining the potential difference that is difference in water levels and once it starts maintaining the potential difference i can say it has developed the electromotive force or emf in short so what we understood emf is needed to maintain the potential difference because of the name many of people will think that emf is a force but it's not a force it's an energy supplied by a device like a battery so potential difference causes electrons to flow from one position to another while emf maintains the potential difference to understand these terms more clearly let's do one more experiment here i have a battery of 9 volt and a resistance of 3 ohms i have connected this resistance with battery using a connecting wires and current flowing through this circuit is 3 amps using ohms law we can calculate that our battery is having emf of 9 volts which means battery is supplying 9 joules of energy to each coulomb well if you would like to know in detail about the concept of voltage and emf you can watch my video on that you'll get link for that video down in the description journey of each coulomb starts with the positive terminal of battery and then it reaches to the point a to travel from point a to point b each coulomb will require 9 joule of energy the energy used by each coulomb in moving from point a to point b is known as potential difference between those two points thus in our example potential difference between point a to point b is 9 volts you can calculate that using ohms law this potential difference between point a and point b is sometimes also called as voltage drop this voltage drop will cause heat from resistance 
After losing most of the energy between point A to point B, coulomb will move towards the negative terminal of battery. It is also to be noted each coulomb will also lose some of its energy to connecting wires because it also offers some resistance to it. When it returns to the negative terminal, it has lost all of its energy which was supplied by the battery. And now battery will again give 9 joules of energy to each coulomb and the procedure we just saw will repeat again. And it will keep on repeating until the circuit is complete or the battery has energy. And the device which is successful in maintaining the potential difference is set to develop the electromotive force or EMF in short. So to summarize this video, potential difference or voltage makes electrons to flow while electromotive force maintains the potential difference. Now I think there is no more confusion between potential difference or voltage and EMF. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, do share it with your friends. That's all for this video guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.